I would say history probably. It's difficult to think about the future without considering history and that history is also part of uh, learning how to be an architect somehow. I think there are, also, there are also many kinds of history. There's of course architectural history but there is also the history of a particular building or of a site. Culture for sure. Definitely. I think you're the object guy. In our practice, ob the objects often come first, and then as you consider the objects and begin to play with them, space emerges, rather than thinking about space first. I would say construct. I also have a hard time seeing the sharp difference between the two, that research can also be about uh, construction and, in a very basic sense, learning by doing. I think reconversion is really interesting. That's where lots of our works are happening somehow. I'd say draw. But it's a lot about like uh, letting the drawing talk back to you. So you have a conversation with the drawing and you think through the drawing. And I say think. We think a lot in, in our practice, and, but we think through drawing, yes, but also through conversation. I said the collective. collective yeah. I think as an architect you have to consider a collective somehow, especially when working with public projects, but even in a small scale project it's about the collective often. I mean, I would say uh, exhibitions, because it's closer to the practice in a way. I mean lectures are really nice and it's uh, fun to go to others' lectures, discussing the practice. I think that's really interesting where it's a moment where you can get on depth with someone's practice. Mm -hmm.